Hello everyone, so in previous video we have understand the basic of the object oriented programming. In this particular video with practically we are going to understand about the constructor method, how actually we create a class and how actually we create an object. So in a python how actually we can create a class, first you have to write the class and after that you have to mention the what is the class you want to create. Suppose my I want to create one demo class, so I will mention the name, after that colon, after that you write a, a your code. So that's how actually we create a class in a python. Now if you have to call this, uh, if you have to create an object, how actually you can create an object? Suppose I want to create an object one car. So based on this uh, demo, I want to create one object car. So like that actually we create an object. So you can create a multiple object like car one equal to the demo. Like that. So that's how actually we create a class and object in a python. Now let's understand about the method and then we'll come to the constructor. So what is the method? Method is nothing but it is like a function. So we understand about the function, right? How actually we create a function. So under this class, whatever the function you will define, right? And that is nothing but a, a, we call it as a method in object oriented programming. So what you have to write first, first I will write a declare one class demo. This is the class I am creating. And after that, what actually I will do? I will create one function. This, this function is nothing but a method only in a Python in a object oriented programming. So I'll create one uh, uh, function name as a well. And after that you have to pass the self. Self is the keyword which you have to pass in object oriented programming whenever you will create a method. And after that what I will do, I'll just print a 10. So I'm creating one method well and I'm just printing the 10 as of now. Now let's see how actually we can create an object from this particular class. So how actually you create a uh, object First you have to write the object name, demo1 I want to create one object based on the class. So I will pass the demo is the class, right? Now if I will execute, you can see uh, nothing is happening, nothing got printed. Now let me, what actually I will do, based on this object, I will call this method. How actually you can call the method, demo1 dot well if I will write. And if I will execute, you can see the 10 got printed. So that's how actually we create a class in a Python. That's how actually we declare a method in a class and that's how actually we create an object in a python and this is how actually we call the uh, method whenever you have to call. Now, you want, one thing you have to remember. Now suppose I am declaring one variable here. I am declaring one variable a equal to the 10. Now this a you want to call here, this a you want to print here. Now if I will execute, what actually I am doing, I have defined one variable a equal to the 10 and this a equal to the 10, right, whatever the variable that actually I want to call into my method. So I am printing this a. Now if I will execute, it will give me one error, a is not defined. So what you have to do, what is the use case of this self, whenever you want to call variable, right, you always have to call with the self, self dot a. Once you will call self dot a, now if you will execute, now it will be printed. So whenever you have to call any variable into the method, always remember we use a self keyword. That is the thing you have to remember. Now suppose I, I will create another method. Uh, and uh, what I will print? I will print a hello, hello. And this is just I want to print. Let me give the, this name as a. So I created one object demo one. I'm calling the class and I'm calling only one this method. Now suppose I want to call this method also. So how, how actually I can call? If I write demo one dot well so one one and if I execute you can see this a 10 is printed and this hello also got uh, printed. So that's how actually we can create a class, we can create an object and we can call the method. Now come to the constructor. So till now we have understand about the class how to create a method. Now let's understand about the constructor. So constructor it is a special method within a class that gets automatically called whenever object is created. It is a special method only. So constructor is nothing but a, it is a kind of the one of the method only. But in this case in the case of the constructor what happens you don't need to call the method it will get automatically called. So that is the thing. In this case you can see right we have defined the class whenever we are creating object nothing is getting printed. Whenever I will call this uh, method then only this value is getting printed right. But in the case of the constructor you do not need to call the method itself. It will automatically get called whenever object is created. So let's see. Let's take one example how constructor works. So first you have to define the class. 
so let me define the class name as a demo and after that what I will do I will create one constructor so how to create a constructor it is a def because this is also one of the method underscore underscore init so that's how actually we represent the uh, constructor after that you have to mention the self self is mandatory in a case of the class okay now after that suppose I am printing I am printing hello something hello world this actually I am printing okay so what actually I have done I have created one class I have created one constructor this in it with, with in it whatever the function you will write right that is nothing but it is a constructor now let me create this also one of the method also under this let me create another method also I created one method also now let's see whenever I will create an object now I will create one object so I will create one object name as a d1 and I will call the uh, this particular class based on this I will create object right so this is nothing but I am creating one object now if I will execute this now you can see hello world got printed even though I haven't call this method it is automatically got called and it is getting printed this hello world so constructor is a one of the method only but whenever you will create an object that will automatically get called so that is a constructor but in the case of the this value right this method in this case what actually you have to do you have to call this method that only then only it will get printed so uh, let me print uh, 10 something you can see 10 got printed so that's how actually it works in the case of the constructor now let's take another example in this case what we will do we will pass a parameter also so what I will do previously I was only printing the hello world right but I will pass few parameter also a and b now how actually you can uh, call this a and b so for that you have to use self dot a equal to the a that's how actually you have to declare self dot b equal to the b now you can print the self dot a and the self dot b now this self dot a I want to call into this uh, method also so actually I can call if I write self dot a this will be called so what actually I am doing I am creating one uh, constructor and I am declaring two parameter also so for that you have to first declare like this self dot a equal to the a self dot b equal to the b and after that I am just printing that and in a method also I have created and in that method I am calling this uh, particular uh, variable whatever we have created now let's try to now let's try to uh, create an object so whenever I will create object so suppose I am creating one object demo whenever I will create one object you you can see you can see it is giving error because we are passing also two variable right so that also you have to pass so I will write 10 and the 30 now whenever I will create an object you can see this automatically get called and it got printed even though I am not calling uh, this init automatically it got called and it got printed now if I'll if I'll do d1 dot well so then only this value will be printed so in the case of the construction you don't need to call it will automatically get called whenever object is created but in the case of the method you have to explicitly call